All right, man. So look, now somebody told me that the parents of this school shoot. Oh, I almost called them something else. Whew, Holy Spirit called me. But the parents of these of the school shooter that happened in Michigan, the little the whole school shooting incident that happened in Michigan, uh, the parents was actually charged. Okay. Now, I got this uh video put up from the Inside Edition. School shooter suspect posted photo of handgun allegedly used in the shooting. Now, I told y'all, I I, made, I think I made a poll, or I think I said it. If I didn't make a poll, I'm making a poll after this video. Do you feel like kids should not, no, do you feel like parents should have guns in a house with a young child? You know what I'm saying? When I say young child, I'm talking about young, okay? Whatever's young to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I know 18 ain't young to y'all. That's, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying whatever's young to y'all, just use that age but look enough talking man we finna go ahead and check it out see what uh see what inside edition got to talk about shout out to inside edition by the way hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications follow you on all sorts of media pops down below it's me your boy the pan uh without further ado man let's get it let's go another student has died from their injuries in yesterday's school oh, shooting wait. in michigan wait whoa whoa i ain't hear about that now another student has died from their injuries in yesterday's school shooting in michigan bringing the death so you telling me he done killed four people Four people have died because originally it was three people, eight injured. So that means it's left with four people, seven injured. <sighs> Toll to four. And here is the first photo of the young man charged with terrorism and first degree. I'm not going to lie, y'all. He looks so precious. I'm sorry. You can't lie, bro. He looks so precious. He looked like an innocent child. I mean, he like a little, a little Tommy. You know what I'm saying? A little Tommy that just played with trains. But he's not innocent. He's a killer. He's a murderer. That is what he is. You know what I'm saying? That's what he has on his heart. But from this little photo, he looked like a little teeny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. He just, he do. You can't tell me he don't, bro. Don't tell me this man don't look innocent. But I know he's not. I'm just saying. Like, based off this photo, he looks so sweet. Murder. He's only 15, but he's being charged as an adult. Amber Cagliano has more. Every time I hear that, bro, because when my uncle was charged at eight, no, my uncle was charged at a young age too as an adult, right? Now, when I hear that, that's not me getting up out of my chair being over dramatic. It's me thinking to myself, like, bro, was it really worth giving up your life for something that, like, you you did something so wrong and you as charged as an adult and you're only 15, bro? You're 15, bro. And I, I'm I'm be I'm be real. I'm be real transparent with y'all. You 15, you are you are a little white kid. You better hope they put you in a cell with some people that, you know what I'm saying? You better hope they put you in a cell by yourself. Because, boy, you are 15 and you're being charged at a door. Now, I don't know, I don't know if that means that he's going to go to the big jail or he's just going to go to jail with the rest of the kids until, you know, he turns 18 where he can be with the grown, you know, the grown people, the people that... that Shake people in jail, you know what I'm saying? But dog, you try you 15 years old, you gave up your life because you want to go into the school, shoot, kill four people, injure seven people, and you just gave up your entire life. You better hope they put you in the cell alone, boy, because I I promise you, I don't think you go last. I don't think you go last. He's the baby face suspect in the school shooting saying his prayers. He was arraigned today as an adult on four counts of murder as his parents watch via Zoom. I'm Jennifer Crumbly. James Crumbly. Ethan here. 15 year old Ethan Crumbly's father reportedly bought the gun used in the shootings, a Sig Sauer 9mm, just last Friday. The teen posted this photo of the weapon with the caption, Just got my new beauty today. Student Isaac Fantich was in class with the suspect the morning of the shooting. He looked depressed like when you see him. That day or every day? Every day. <laughs> And these students are being praised today for their quick thinking in the midst of the school shooting. You can hear somebody trying to persuade the students to. Oh, I seen this. I seen this clip on TikTok, dog. I seen this clip on TikTok. I was going to make a short of it, but I just couldn't because it was too long of a clip. Bro, I seen this clip and dog, like, 
First off, first off, let me say this. He said he looked depressed. Stay away from the depressed kids in school. That's not me being rude or anything, bro. Honestly, it's like it's nothing that you you can do something. You can try to be their friend, try to help them, see what's wrong with them. But at the end of the day, you see somebody in the classroom looking depressed. They not talking to nobody. Please, please, I beg you, don't make fun of them. Don't talk about them. Don't laugh at them. Don't even look at them. Because you don't know what's going through their mind. You don't at all. But I seen this clip on TikTok. I'm gonna let I'm gonna play it just in case if y'all didn't see it. But I'm gonna get my thoughts. Open after the, the door. Sheriff's office. Safe to come out. But the savvy kids don't buy it. Now we're not willing to take that risk right now. I can't hear you. We're not taking that risk right now. Okay, well to come to the door and look at my bag, bro. That does it. When they hear the word bro, they believe yeah, bro. it's the shooter. Yup. I seen that. They smart. Smart kids. Smart. Because uh, ain't no officer finna say, hey, come to the door, bro, and just see my back. They not finna say all that. Ain't no officer finna say all that. You know what I'm saying? When they heard, bro, they already knew. GG's. This little, this little Negro trying to, <laughs> bow, 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 he trying to kill us. Uh-uh, no. Gotta go. You know what I'm saying? And when I, bro, when I seen that video, those were some, that was smart thinking, fast thinking, because I'm glad they didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad they didn't buy that, because they all could have been dead or killed or whatever, injured, however you want to put it. Smart kids. See, not all kids are dumb. He said, bro, red flag. Red they flag. They flee out a window and rush across a courtyard to safety. Slow down, you're fine. But Sheriff Michael Bouchard said today it wasn't the school shooter behind the door. More than likely, it was one of our plainclothes detectives. And he may have been talking bro in a conversational manner to try to bring them down from the crisis. The suspect never knocked on a door. I spoke with security expert Bill Stanton. How savvy, how uh, So it wasn't, so it wasn't, okay. I mean, but bro, you just don't say, you don't say bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't say like, that's how we talk. You know what I'm saying? You don't say that. Smart were these kids to question this voice behind the door. They asked the right questions, they listened, and they made their threat assessment, and they listened to their instinct, and they evaded potential danger. The drama unfolded at Oxford High School outside Detroit. We're in lockdown right now. Teachers and students rushed to barricade the doors. Police disarmed the 15-year-old shooter within five minutes, but four students were killed and seven others wounded, including a teacher. 16-year-old Tate Meir Dang. died a hero, trying to disarm the shooter. Everything about us is tough. Tate Meir was number 42 on the football team. Today, there's a petition to name the school stadium after him. Madison Baldwin was a bright... Bro, I can't watch the draw game most bro. Oh, you can see it in my eyes, but my eyes is watering up, bro. My eyes is watering up, dog. This is, bro. I'm literally getting emotional, bro. Oh my gosh. Yo, that is. He said everything about us is tough. But my nigga, you don't go after a person with a gun, bro. You don't do that. I understand you on the football team, you you tough, you you tough Tony, but hey, look, you don't go after a person with a gun. That's dead. That, like that's you're crazy for that. You don't do that. That is something you just don't do. I don't care how tough you think you is. You ain't Superman or a Batman. You not bulletproof cuz they can die. You not bulletproof. So at the end of the day, you don't do that, man. You just lost your life. Tough. Tate Muir was number 42 on the football team. Today, there's a petition to name the school stadium after him. Madison Baldwin was a bright 17-year-old senior. Amid the chaos after the shooting, her grandmother appealed for information on Facebook. Please help. My granddaughter Madison cannot be located. Please ask your children if they've seen her. Sadly, Madison was among those slain. 
Hannah wow. St. Juliana is the youngest victim, just 14 years old. She was a talented volleyball player. Just a month before the shooting, the students had been given training in how to react in a school shooting, including how to fight back. The training kicked in when it counted. He said, bro, red flag. Go. <laughs> County prosecutor today said they are also weighing charging both of the parents of the suspect and say they'll make that decision swiftly. Now, all right, so now look, I seen, I seen that clip, I seen all of this. I seen the clip uh, with the TikTok, you know what I'm saying? The kid saying that's a red flag, he said, bro. I started to get emotional at the end because I didn't re I didn't know they was gonna show the kids that passed away, you know what I'm saying? But it's just sad to see that young kids, 14, bro, 14. She was a freshman. She was fresh meat. I mean, like this is I don't have no words to say. I feel like, honestly, me personally, the parents, yes. You buying a 15 year old a gun. I mean, what what's not clicking? What what he said his name was? James. What's not clicking, James? You blind did you just buy your son a your, your 15 year old son a gun? I mean, honestly, did you? Like, I seen, you know what's crazy? I seen a text message. Well, I didn't see it, but I heard that the parents told the son, don't do it before. Like Minutes before, you know what I'm saying? What happened, happened. It's honestly, it's honestly terrifying that kids can't even go to school without somebody dumb wanting to harm another person's child. This whole situation is just a sad situation in general. For the kids that lost their, for the kids that lost their lives, for the kids that even got injured. Not even that. Simply the parents. This all goes back down to the parents. And then the school. The school. The school is a big part part of this. When I did research, uh, when I did research before all this year, so I don't know if y'all watched the last video, but I was like, a school shooter always. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes from what I know, they sometimes normally give a warning. Like they 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 post little subliminal posters and say, I'm gonna school this school up, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. That's a red flag right there to say, hold on. This dude go to our school. We gotta watch out. We gotta be on on lockdown. We gotta, you know what I'm saying? I remember when they threatened my school to shoot up my school, they had police out there in the morning. Nobody could really get in, you know what I'm saying? No, like Checking book bags and all. We couldn't walk around with a book bag. They was going, look, they was on it. They was on it. I don't think women can walk around with purses. That's how the school should have handled this situation. But yet they let dude in school. Now four people is dead. Four of their own kids are dead. Seven are wounded. This would this would have not happened if the school was on their duties. If the parents didn't even buy this man a gun, you know your son crazy. Look at him; he looks crazy. At first, he looked all innocent, looking like a little chubby bunny. But now, his air hall like kids say, look depressed. This is sad, man. Uh, anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.